Hello and welcome to another Red Dwarf model review. Today we're looking at the Dwayne Dibley bobblehead. Alright, check out the packaging on this. Oh, it's just amazing. It screams buy me off the shelf, totally. But the thing is, it never went to the shelf. Um, you could only get this exclusively at play.com. You can only get it on that online shop. Um, the thing behind it was, it came with this game, Beat the Geek. You could buy Beat the Geek everywhere. But I could only get the bobblehead if you bought Beat the Geek at play.com. As you can see, there's our man Dwayne Dibley on the front. Beat the Geek, for those who don't know, is an interactive DVD game. Uh, lots of fun. I recommend getting it, of course, like everything else Red Dwarf. Alright. Back to the bobblehead. Um, uh, I think this is so funny. You can see at the top. Collector's model, not suitable for children under 14. Wow. You're just going, what the hell's inside this? Okay, let's open it up. Here's our man. He comes in plastic. This is the only one that comes in plastic. The rest come in uh, styrofoam. He has his own nicely shaped um, packaging inside. Keep him well protected. Here he is, Mr. Dwayne Dibley, looking fantastic. And um, this is the, mm, I'd say the most rarest bobblehead there is, um, because it's a limited edition. Uh, so it'll be quite hard to find. Again, I'm gonna put links down if I see any online in any shops. Um, I bought this guy, it took me a few months to find. I bought him actually on play.com. It was released um, back in, I think it is 2006. Um, so I bought them uh, in 2010 on play.com, I don't know if anyone, everyone knows but there's a recycle, play trade I think it's called, um, where you can buy second hand stuff and it popped up there second hand and I got it for a nice price. Um, Who Blackpool were selling one a while ago, um, just on its own, uh, so I'll pop up any links below if I find any. So get into the model itself. Um, Dwayne Dibley is, an, is a head knocker, bobblehead they call them, a couple of names for him. Um, he pops up in three episodes in Red Dwarf and as you can see this is the polymorph episode. I get him in there um, as you can see he's got all the stuff from that episode. Um, he even has a grenade that uh, the polymorph turns into and he drops. Um, all these bobbleheads have a nice uh, little prop at the bottom. You can even see his sandals there. So yeah, he's looking very well. I'll just give you a little 360 of the top, top torso. As you can see his head's knocking away there. Fantastic. If I just show you now a comparison shot with Dwayne Dibley played with Danny Jell and Jules, of course, and um, here we can see a very good likeness. Um, he's got the jacket, he's got the teeth, and I think the top, the hair could have been a bit more bushier. Um, the expression on his face and the bobblehead uh, isn't amazing, but it's it's cool, it's geeky. You know, it's what you want from the geek, the Duke of Dork. You have the polymorph there, the thermos the sandwich box even have the shirt hanging down the trousers don't match up but you know we can't expect everything i think it's a uh, it's good and i like i like it a lot and i'm very glad i picked it up um so there we have it the Dwayne dibley bobblehead um quite hard to find and if you're into the red dwarf merchandise if you see it i'd suggest buy it straight away because they don't come up that often i um, hope you've enjoyed this and hope you tune in again for more Red Dwarf model reviews. Thank you.